Hi, welcome back to another video, it's me Storm, and today I'm going to be showing you how you can save pages with Inspect Element, and how to save them with pictures as well. And it's really easy, and as you can see here, I've got two different Google pages, both I've inspected, but one is the saved copy of the uh, Inspect Element page. And as you can see, they look exactly the same, uh, which is good, because that's what we're going to be doing today. So let's jump right into it. Okay, so I'm going to go to Google because that's a normal website people use a lot um, and it's a good demonstration because it's got a picture right in the middle as you can see. So first I'm just going to inspect element the page. I'm going to remove some elements. So I really don't like this bottom bar. I'm going to remove it and you can easily do it using the tool uh, in the corner like I'm showing here. You can just click on any part of the page that you want to get rid of and then you can just press delete and it's gone. So I've pretty much deleted everything that I don't like. Um, I'm gonna get rid of the share button. I don't really care about it. And now I have a really clean looking Google website. And now I want to save it, but I want to save it using that image because I really like the image. So I'm gonna go to the save button. And as you can see, uh, there's a save page button. And now I I'm gonna save it to a folder that I've already created, as you can see here. On my desktop and so I've got three different options there is the single page which is not all you want then there is a HTML page and that's also not all we want we want the complete one because that comes with a folder and the folder will have all the assets so assets would be the pictures on the website all that kind of thing so we're gonna save that to our uh, computer and now I'm just gonna drag it over and as you can see it looks exactly the same uh, the image is in the exact place, and there's no errors, and now if I want to kind of trick people, I can just change it, the link to google.com, but not actually go to the website. And now it looks like I'm on google.com, and I've got exactly the same kind of uh, features, I guess. So it works perfectly. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys in another video. I hope this was helpful, and if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section down below.